Thanks for your company. The details now. The National Secretary of the International Welfare Body for Fulani Ethnic Groups, Alaji Yakubu Musabari, is calling for the arrest and prosecution of persons behind the destruction of a Fulani settlement in the northern region town of Baprugu. Speaking to John News on a visit to the community following the mob attack on residents, Musabari described the situation as unfortunate and disheartening. Very, very, very hurting, you know. Um, getting there, I even wept that human beings can really act in such a manner in this very time of this world when human rights are on the rise, that everybody knows the right of somebody, even, even if somebody commits a crime, that is the way the law is supposed to take its course. But what I saw today, I've never, it's like a war zone. A war just ended and then we came there. Houses were burned. Animals were even burned in on life that we met there. About 35 houses burned to ashes. These children, women, the house owners are out helpless. In fact, I can't even describe what I saw today. In my life, if not on television, on war zones that they have been filming. I've never seen such thing before in my life. The security forces should pick up their tones and then bring all those perpetrators to book so that it will, it will be a deterrent to other people across the country. Because such thing not supposed to happen in this country called Ghana Forest. Never, ever, ever, ever. So we are appealing to the security forces. I think we have a collaboration with the BNI and the uh, district commander, and then also uh, the chief of the, of the town, also supporting to find the perpetrators of this genius heart that happens. Now, the welfare body called Tabita Puluka is headquartered in Mali, and it has branches in about 18 countries across America, Europe, and Africa. A confrontation over a damaged rice farm uh, ensued on Friday noon between a headsman and a local farmer at the village Bakrugu. And uh, when the farmer led two others into the headsman settlement and attacked him, accused uh, of allowing or ac attacked the headsman, accused of allowing his cattle to enter the rice farm. Now, Yakubu Abdullah, uh, chief of Tamalgu, received the delegation. That rests on the security services and will assist them to, to, to get to the bottom of the matter. Whoever, whether man or woman, is involved will be uh, apprehended and dealt with according to the laws of Ghana. Because together with the elders of Baburu we, we, to, uh, and, and then the assistant with the police from Karga, I think we arrive at a positive conclusion. Let's turn the story a bit more. Uh, correspondent Iliasu Tanko joins us with more. Iliasu, yesterday you told us that the community was safe. Uh, the police had sent some men there. What's the situation uh, today? Well, the, the, the chief and then the political leaders, especially the, the MP and then the DC for the area, uh, are in the process of... I mean, rebuilding these destroyed homes of the Fulani headers in that area. And so as we speak, uh, we understand that uh, the district chief executive have been able to, I mean, secure some relief items for uh, these people whose houses were totally destroyed, in fact, whose entire properties were totally destroyed. And so as we speak right now, uh, there is a serious activity uh, involving the chief and then the DC and the MP in the area uh, to ensure that they de-escalate the situation in the first place and also ensure that they will be able to kill the tension that has been rising between the set of farmers and then they pull any headed. Can you give us a sense of the extent of damage in the community? There seems to be conflicting figures. Well, the, uh, generally there was a overwhelming distraction. Um, we counted about 34 houses that were totally destroyed, and we also are able to count uh, over a dozen 
I mean, livestock that were burnt alive in that particular attack. It was an unrestrained rampage uh, by this mob who overran the community, destroying everything on site. In fact, we saw a large portion of maize that were destroyed, that was cut down mm. uh, by this by this mob. And so, largely, the residents there do not have anything to depend on us to speak. About what, was it, what is the police telling you with regards to the figures and uh, how many homes were destroyed? Well, we're in the community with the Karaga police commander and his men, and they gave us this particular figures of 34 houses that were destroyed. In fact, we also have the opportunity to, entire, to tour the entire community and saw for ourselves these the houses that were, I mean, uh, uh, destroyed. So I can tell you that the figure still stands at 34 houses and mm. several, several other uh, properties were also destroyed. How big is this community and are you able to tell us what the population size is? Well, the Bank, ba 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 Bakurugu community is uh, one of the uh, biggest, if you like, communities in the Karaga district, just some few kilometers away from the district capital. And this is what happens. The, the, the Fulani settlement is also isolated from this particular community. Uh, and so where this incident happened is not actually part of uh, the Bantugu community, but it's an isolated camp uh, that, uh, uh, where these Fulani's are. Mm. And it's a very, I mean, uh, big village, of course. Uh, we're told that the, the village uh, has been in existence since 1960s. And for some 30 minutes, the youth there just took those time to go there and destroy every properties that have been standing there for centuries. Hello, Iliasu. Yes. Yes. Uh, so is it that the community is deserted now? Uh, exactly. Like I said yesterday, we saw uh, some of the women actually parking out of the community because of the level of... Uh, Mr. D did not believe that the people would not come there to uh, I mean, attack them, but there was assurances from the district chief executive and the MP and also the, the chief of the community that uh, they will protect the planets in that particular area. And so they were very, very distressed. Some of them even were packing out of the community. Mm, uh, and finally, tell us, has the police made any arrests? Uh, not at all. In fact, that is the uh, main reason why the, the Tabila, Tabita Pula organization uh, went into the community because they believe that most of them, when these things happen, there have been tensions between, uh, I mean, settled farmers and then headers. But when, mostly when it happens, uh, the traditional authorities will come in and then try to resolve the issue in their own way. So this organization uh, has received firm assurance from the security that they were going to look for those who perpetrate this crime and arrest them and make them live to face the law. Thank you very much, Julia Sutanko, is our correspondent there bringing us details on uh, that incident that occurred over the weekend.